Right then, hi guys, so very quick car boot and charity shop haul today. I only got three items from the car boot, but I did get another three items from the charity shop, so I thought that I would uh, basically include those and make it a little bit of a better video, you know, a few more items in there anyway. So, first off, very quickly, I got these uh, Tetley two metal um, beer trays, if I can even get the other one out, there we go. So two metal beer trays, pretty cool, a quid each. I've not found these ones on complete and sold, which obviously, you know, there's loads of different variants of these trays and stuff. But hopefully I should get maybe 14 99 plus postage. I'm going to shoot for that anyway. If I need to come down a little bit, then I'll maybe come down to 12 quid plus postage. But I don't really want to accept any less than that because I'm into them for 2 quid. And also I don't really want to accept less than that because I think they're worth that. So, yeah, that's those two. Uh, next was something quite nice from the car boot, two quid for this uh, boxed uh, Singapore girl, Singapore Airlines. Don't know the age on this, I'm, a, I'm guessing like 80s, 70s, 80s, like mid to late 70s, maybe early 80s. Um, it's obviously boxed there, I paid two quid as you can see there. Um, and yeah, this is pretty cool, I thought it was quite um, a good item when I, when I picked it up actually. And they're going, well they're listed for crazy money internationally, like the highest one I saw was like for 96 quid. Um, but unfortunately none have sold in the UK, so it's making me question the value kind of thing. But I do think, as a minimum, someone's got one of these unboxed, which the box is quite tatty like mine is, for like 40 quid. So I do feel, you know, 30, 40 quid is about that sort of range, but it might take a while to sell. It might be kind of a find the right item kind of thing, but still, pretty cool item, two quid paid, more than happy with that. Nice little item there. So that's another car boot purchase. And then finally, something I've not seen before. I have had... Baker like hair dryers before. These are like 1950s. I think I think it's like 1950s, maybe 1960s. Uh, Baker like hair dryers, uh, or maybe even 1940s. Anyway, that sort of range. You get what I mean. Um, but I've never had a white one before. I've had brown ones, but I've never had a white one. This one looks pretty cool. Obviously, there you can see it's a white one. It's by Siemens Brothers. Uh, now I'll need to do a bit of research on that kind of uh, company because obviously that might give it a little bit of added value. You can see there's a mirror inside there, that's pretty standard. Most of these cases in the Baker like hair dryers usually come with a mirror in the back. Uh, it does look in quite nice condition and he did say to me that it is in working order, but I don't trust anyone at the car boot. I'm going to test it myself and we'll see, you know. I paid a fiver for it. Um, now these kind of go for sort of 20 to 30 quid plus postage. You used to be able to get a solid 30 quid, but I think people have started to kind of bring the price down a little bit, more people selling them or whatever, so um, yeah, but 20 to 30 quid plus my postage, so I thought I'd pick it up for a fiver. I did try and get it less, but he didn't want to go any less, so which is fair enough because it is a quality item, so yeah, happy with that one. So that was car boot purchases. Uh, next, charity shop purchases. So I picked these up kind of blind without my uh, 4G. I, I basically ran out of data this month on my plan, so I'm waiting for my next big bundle with O2. Um, but yeah, so I got this Destruction Derby 2 PlayStation Platinum, paid $1.99. Doesn't seem to be that, that great. I've seen one go on bids for $5.50 plus postage, um, and I've actually put mine on for $4.99 plus postage on auction to finish next Sunday. So you might be thinking, well, why have you done that? Because that leaves no profit for you. Well, as an overall sort of, sort of bundle that I picked up, I'm going to make good profit anyway. So I'd rather get that one out for a very, very small profit and then make my profit on the other two items you're going to see, rather than just hold on to that one forever and hold out for a really ridiculous price that I'm never going to get. So anyway, so this one is a good one. PlayStation 2 Shadow Hearts. I've had variants of this game on the PS2 before, but not this one. And this one actually goes for good money. I've seen one go for like 32 quid on Buy It Now. Uh, and I've seen auctions go for like 50, I think about 15 to 25 quid, that sort of range. So I've put mine on, on auction, Sunday auctions again, finishing next Sunday, scheduled to start tonight. Um, and yeah, I put it on for 9.95 plus my postage, paid 1.99 for that as well. 
So I'll be in profit on this one anyway if it sells. And if it goes higher, then I'm in even more profit. So pretty cool on that one. It does have in it, the disc is in really good condition. It has the instruction manual and behind the instruction manual is the 16 page strategy guide or something. So yeah, pretty cool on that one. Paid 1.99 for that. And then finally, a uh, Lego set, a Lego Technic, brand new and sealed, 42002. I believe this is the hovercraft. It does have a, a quite wet, you know, quite a lot of wear to the box, but it has it is brand new and sealed. This hasn't been punched in or anything, or the sides haven't been opened. So yeah, um, this one, someone's got one new and sealed uh, on or, sorry on buy it now listed for twenty nine ninety nine. I haven't really seen much in the way of solds. I think I saw like a pre owned one go for like five quid plus postage or something. I might have see, seen a brand new and sealed one go for like maybe fifteen quid, something like that. I've just whacked it on auction again, Sunday auctions, uh, starting at 9.95 plus my postage, 2.99 paid on this one. So it goes for that, it's a nice, quick, easy pack, get it out, a little bit of profit, fiver profit or something like that, um, and then on to the next thing, or it might go higher than that. So if it goes higher, then that's cool, I'm, I'm happy with that. Hopefully it'll go for maybe 15, something like that, maybe even a bit higher, but yeah, we'll see with that one, so pretty cool. I'm um, happy with my purchases. I'll leave it there, guys. I won't ramble any longer. If you liked the video, then please do give it a like. If you'd like to see more of these videos, then just obviously whack a comment down in the description. And I will leave it there, guys. See you in the next one.